we're going to discuss how to purchase and apply a training plan. When you come to the homepage of FinalSurge.com, under Athletes, you can go down to Training Plans, and you'll see a bunch of different options. We have running training plans, we have triathlon training plans, and underneath each one of these, you'll see options for different training plans that are available. When you look at all the options that we have available, there are actually over a hundred different training plans that you can purchase on Final Surge. For now, we're gonna go into the NAZ Elite training plan section. And you can see they have half marathon, marathon, and high school cross country training plans available. Under half marathon, you can see that they have a few different options available here. You can preview it so you can get an idea of what the training plan consists of, what a day looks like, what a week looks like. And let's go to advanced training plan. And we're gonna purchase this one. You go through, you fill out your information to purchase it. And as soon as you hit complete purchase, it'll show up in your account. Now we're in our account and we'll head on over to training plans at the top and view training plans. And you can see we have the NAZ Elite Advanced Half Marathon Training Plan. The top icon over here is a paperclip. When I click on the file attachments, it'll tell me what is in this attachment. I can download a document which Coach Rosario has created, which gives you four pages of different glossaries and terms that he's used throughout his training plan. When I come back into the training plan, underneath the file attachments, there is the apply training plan. When I click on that, I can go to a plan start date or a plan end date. I can choose either one. For this, we're going to go to September 4th as our apply date, continue, and then it'll say, are you sure you wanna continue on these days? We're gonna say yes, confirm and apply. When I go to my calendar now, I can now see my complete training plan for this cycle on my calendar. Let's say I messed up here and I really didn't mean to start it on the 4th, I want to start it on the 11th. I can come back up to training plans, I can go to plan history, and under there I can see the training plan I have applied, and the pencil on the right, I can adjust my training plan. If I scroll down a little bit, I can go to the trash can and completely delete it, which I'm not gonna do right now, or I can adjust it so now I start on the 11th instead of the 4th. I hit continue. It gives me the new information. I confirm and adjust the training plan. And when I come back to my calendar, it's now moved to the 11th.